sold my Nikon Z30 and I'll get more into why I decided to sell it, but I think you'll be interested to see what camera I replaced it with. So let's get into it. It's Oibi, and today we're going to be talking about my new camera, the Canon M6 Mark II. This is a camera that I've been thinking about buying for the last couple of years, but I just wasn't really sure if I wanted to actually get it or not. Now, why would I go and sell a pretty much brand new camera and then replace it with a camera that is four years old and is now part of a discontinued series of cameras? And I have a couple of reasons for that. My first reason is the increase in resolution. So the Canon M6 Mark II has a 32 megapixel sensor, whereas the Nikon Z30 only had a 20 megapixel sensor. Now 20 megapixels is enough for general photography, um, but for me, since I use my cameras primarily for photo and then video is kind of a secondary aspect, being able to crop into my images more freely really gives me that extra edge when it comes to composition. Whereas with my Nikon Z30, you could only crop in so much before you began to notice a loss in image quality. My second reason is that I just love the Canon color science straight out of camera. The camera that I learned on was a Rebel T6i. My first mirrorless camera was my Canon M10, which we all know is very near and dear to my heart and also probably the main <laughs> point of this channel so far. My camera that I use for work is the Canon 5D Mark IV, and now I have my Canon M6 Mark II. So I have a long history of working with Canon cameras and maybe part of that is just me being more comfortable with them, but I just never really liked the color that I was getting straight out of camera with my Nikon Z30. My third reason for selling my Nikon Z30 is that I just didn't really see myself progressing onward in the Z series lineup. So Nikon currently has three different APS-C bodies. They have the Z30, the Z50, and the ZF-C. And I didn't really see a reason for me to upgrade to a full frame camera, mostly because I don't really use my cameras in professional settings, and it's really more of a hobby for me. Um, so I knew I wanted to stick with APS-C, which meant that regardless of what brand I chose, full frame was just not in the question. Now, choosing the M6 Mark II is a bit of a double-edged sword. As I previously mentioned, the M series is now officially discontinued by Canon. But for me, I already had my M10, which meant I already had the 22 millimeter, I already had the kit lens, and I already have the EF to EFM adapter, which I've been using with my 50 millimeter lens. So I already had three lenses as is. And then when I bought my M6 Mark II, it actually came with the 18 to 150 millimeter zoom lens, so that's a fourth lens. And then a couple days afterwards, I found this lens, which is the Sigma 16 mm 1.4. So now I have five lenses. If I would have stayed with my Z30, I just had the one kit lens. And again, I could have probably bought some more lenses, but when I wasn't really sure if I even wanted to stay in that lineup of cameras, I didn't really want to buy any lenses for it. And my fourth and final reason for picking up the Canon M6 Mark II after selling my Z30 is because I got a really good deal on this camera. I picked up the camera body, the removable EVF, and the 18 to 150 millimeter zoom lens for 650 bucks. And then a couple days later, I found the Sigma 16 millimeter lens for $200. So all in, I only spent $850 on this new setup. And compared to a brand new camera like the ZV-E10, that would have cost me $200 more just for the ZV-E10 and the kit lens. So the value for the amount of things that I got with this camera setup is just exponentially better than anything I would have gotten if I would have bought a new camera body with a kit lens. So far, my experience with the M6 Mark II has been really wonderful. There's really only been one accessory that I've had to purchase for the camera, just in terms of a video setup, and that is the small rig uh, cold shoe relocation mount. So that actually attaches to the uh, quarter 20 thread underneath the camera body, and that allows me to then have my um, shotgun microphone mounted to the side of the camera, which then allows me to have my flip up screen on top so I can still monitor myself and also have my microphone plugged in at the same time. Otherwise, everything is pretty much just as is. Um, I have my Peak Design neck strap that I use with it if I'm taking it out and about my 16 millimeter lens for when I'm in my house filming my YouTube videos, and then all my other lenses for when I'm out taking photos. So that's it for today's video. I'll probably do another video in the future that's a little more in depth on the Canon M6 Mark II if anyone's interested in that. But otherwise, thank you all so much for being here and I will see you all next time.